guys, it's Katie and I'm here in my kitchen. I wanna show you week one share, give you some quick tips on how to process it, how to store it, my favorite ways to use it and kind of go over each vegetable really quickly. I'm trying to make this short cause I respect your time. So first thing, week one, salad mix. This is a variety called Salanova. When you get it out of, when you get it in your bag, you're gonna be like, wow, that's not very much salad. It expands, this is almost six cups of salad mix. This variety of Salanova we choose specifically because A, it's crunchy and delicious, but also it lasts a really long time in your fridge. So if you have time, step one, go ahead, wash it, spin it dry, put it in a Debbie Meyer green bag if you have these. If not, just put it in a plastic bag and put it in your refrigerator. If you don't have time, get it out of that plastic bag and put it in another bag that seals up so that way you're going to retain its shelf life. Look at that beautiful salad just waiting for you to eat it. I love our salad mix. Number two are these gorgeous cherry bell radishes. Aren't those beautiful? So what do you wanna do when you get home? At least within 24 hours of getting your share, you wanna take those tops off because this is the root, these are the leafy greens. This is what's keeping those leafy greens so vibrant and alive. So what's happening is it's pulling the moisture out of the root. So your roots will get shriveled up and they will lack luster. So take the greens off. What I like to do with them, I'll put my greens in a bowl of water, kind of swish them around because they get gritty and dirty. Um, and then I'll save these. I'll, I'll rinse them and strain them and put them in a bag and I will make a saute or a stir fry if I'm making a soup, omelets, you name it. Radish tops are really delicious and they're good for you. So this is an extra bonus right here. Then the radishes themselves, after you take the tops off, need to also go in a bag. You can go back in the bag that I sent you with, with the salad mix, or you can use a Debbie Meyer green bag or a Ziploc bag or a Tupperware container, but get those in the refrigerator as well. Next up, you got leeks. I love leeks. They're such a special spring and fall treat. So enjoy these because you're probably not gonna see them again until later in the fall. Leeks can be used interchangeably with onions. They're more mild um, and their leafy green tops can be used too. So if you're going to use a recipe calls for scallions and you don't have any, you absolutely can use leeks. They're not exactly the same, but they are interchangeable. With a leek, you want to go all the way up until the light green portion. That's really what's, what's um, edible, uh, raw, or cooked. When I cook them, I like them in any type of egg dish or casserole. I roast them. I'll cut them into big chunks and roast them with my potatoes. Um, but these leafy tops are absolutely usable. They're just really tough. And so what I like to do is I'll cut off the bottom part, put it in a bag in the refrigerator, if you're getting my drift here. Then this tougher green part, I save these too. I'll even freeze them for later. If I'm making a roast or a chicken in the crock pot, I'm making some broth, I will just stick this in there and it flavors um, the broth or the, the meat or the vegetables with this light onion flavor. That's really, really nice. Leeks will store in your refrigerator for months. So don't feel overwhelmed like you have to hurry up and use these, just keep them in a bag. That's gonna be the key keep them in a bag. Next up are the turnips, which are my favorite part of this share, but I didn't bring them home with me. Let's pretend that these radishes are those beautiful Japanese hakuri turnips. They're called, excuse me, they're called a salad turnip because they can be eaten raw. In most cases, we don't eat turnips raw, but in the spring, these beautiful, miraculous turnips we plant come up out of the ground and they are so sweet and so tender. And as it gets warmer, they get less tender and less sweet. So you have to get them right now and really enjoy them. You don't have to peel them. You don't have to cook them. We like to slice them up and put a little bit of goat cheese and salt and pepper on top. Oh, it's so good. And like pop it in your mouth as a cracker. You can shave it on a salad. My father-in-law just eats them like apples because they really are that good. And if you get them early in the spring, sometimes they're so juicy, it's like a peach. 
They are such a treasure, so make sure you enjoy those hawk eyes. Again, the other great part about them is take those tops off, just like the radishes, get them off of there immediately, and use those turnip greens. In the same way you could use your radishes, you could put them in salads, you can saute them, you could put them in omelets, you can put them in soup, it's completely up to you, but use those turnip greens. They're just as nutritious, if not more nutritious, than kale or spinach, so don't throw those away. Last up was potatoes. Potatoes like it semi-cool and dark. So what you wanna do is get these in a cupboard or drawer away from your oven or your dishwasher. You can put them in the fridge. However, those temperatures are low enough that it converts the starches into sugars and your potatoes can get kind of unusually sweet. So if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and put them in the fridge. Otherwise, I just like to put them in a cupboard and store them away dark and they should last at least three or four weeks in there. Um, but you don't want them out on the counter, they'll turn green, so please put them in the dark. And I like to take them out of the bag and let them breathe a little bit, so I'll just put them in a bowl or a pan and I'll just put them in the cupboard. This is about a pound and a half for you traditional members, which is about a quart, which should feed two to three people depending on what you're making. Obviously, you're gonna make a big vat of mashed potatoes. It's not, <laughs> it's not enough for that. I wanna give you a little sneak peek into what you're getting next week because I'm very excited for it. You see, I already have mine washed and prepped in the bag. See this? Beautiful baby kale. This is another spring treat. It's really hard to get this in the summer. It's too hot. It's, it does, it's what we call bolting. Um, and so it's not gonna be very good. But this kale is so sweet right now. It's little baby kale. We just, I'm not gonna eat it in front of you, but we just eat it raw. It's that delicious. So get ready for a lot of baby kale. You can cook it, but you can also eat it raw in your salads. It's great. So one last thing. I wanna show you my favorite thing to do with radishes. Cause in the spring, you get radishes, you get turnips, and you're probably gonna get tired of putting them in your salads. Totally understand. My favorite way to eat radishes is to actually cook them. And when I convince people how good they are cooked, they're blown away and that's the only way they ever wanna eat them. I'm gonna show you my breakfast really quick. I took those radishes, I chopped the larger ones in half, and I took some of the leek and I chopped up the white part of the leek and I added a little bit of asparagus that I got at Green Top, which by the way, secret, if you're a townie, um, they're going to have like 150 bunches of local asparagus coming in next week. So if you're in the parking lot, you should go in and grab some. But let me show you this dish. I just fry up an egg on the side. So good. Let me turn the camera around, see if you can see it. You see that? <laughs> I'm not, this is not a professional video, obviously. So I sauteed radishes um, and they are, here, watch this. See, I overcooked it because I was talking to you guys, but. Mm. So good. There's not any radish flavor when you cook them. It just disappears, which is crazy, but it's juicy um, and a little salty because I put salt on it. And crunchy but not too crunchy so i have that with the leeks that have flavored it really nice with a mild onion flavor i'm gonna eat that in my egg and it's gonna be an amazing breakfast and i literally just <laughs> polished off a whole bunch of radishes in my breakfast okay guys so one last thing I, while i still have your attention hopefully i want to talk to you about the share size um, of this week's traditional share and likewise the store contents for you choice members Typically in the first week or two of the CSA, we don't have a lot to offer. And that has been accentuated this year by the fact that it's been so cold and wet all spring. We're never gonna give you less than what you paid for. It's just gonna be delayed a little bit. So you got a little less than what I would typically have given you in other weeks um, because this is all that we literally have to give you. We even took a week off of the farmer's market to make sure that you got what you deserve. Absolutely, your number one priority. Um, but expect in the weeks to come that not only are you going to get more and the quantity will be a little bit larger, you're probably gonna come and say to me at some point, this is too much food. In most cases, when we do surveys, the feedback that I get from traditional members is it's too much. So hold tight, it's coming. Thank you for your patience. Like I said, we're gonna make it up 
to you in weeks go by, you're going to have way more than what you paid for as long as the weather cooperates, God willing. But thank you for your patience. We wanted to go ahead and get you guys started. Everybody was so excited about the CSA and we have this great food we wanna share with you. Um, so expect more in the coming weeks. Like I said, get really excited for this bag of baby kale. That's all I have for week one. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope some of this helps. I'll continue to do this. Let me know if this is helpful to you or if I'm wasting my time because I definitely could go eat breakfast right now. I don't have to do this. But if this is helpful, let me know and we'll continue to try and do this every single week. Until then, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much. Bye.